Hello everyone <laughs> So unfortunately I've been trying to stream this match for ages It's already been an hour that I've been trying But I'm going to settle for recording because There's a problem with the other internet I'm using A big problem actually And yeah we're going to just have to settle with this We missed quite a few games We should take a look at them after the match is finished But it's a very exciting match and a match of the underdog Mr. Valiant's only over here Such uh, such a rating, not that huge, but it's quite a rating difference But Valiant's only is exceeding all odds, he was up 3-1 at one point And uh, now it's 4-3, uh, it's so he still has shots to win the match He only needs two more games, the match ends at 6 wins so yeah, let's let's see what happens over here. It's a very complicated struggle this one. Now let's try to attempt to I'm, I just joined this match really this uh, game and uh, difficult to say. Now you can't get a fork in here, but I guess there was this knight check which was a bit annoying so he chose to take. And now Okay, uh, Penguin is going for something more concrete. E2 can't be played, yes. He removes the defender, and now he's going to put a pawn on E2, which is very strong. At least you can pick up this rook with check, which should be very, very strong. Penguin is thinking, though. Maybe he's trying to find another move. Now, there is increment, so uh, that should be very helpful. Uh, I don't know to whom exactly. Both of them are... <laughs> Extremely strong bullet players. I, I guess Penguin is the stronger bullet player, but I mean variants only he can hold his own What's he thinking about? Did I disconnect again? <laughs> what? Wow, that's that's very weird time usage by Penguin. At E2 is very obvious I mean you could consider other moves, but okay, he gives up the Queen and Penguin is saying I want to take here and have some of these ideas no, he doesn't take the queen. Okay, very curious. Putting the bishop here to defend some key squares, but look at the material in hand for variants only. This is this is far too much material. And look at how much time he's taking. Okay, knight takes g3 though, comes with a big threat, and takes on f1, comes with a check. So variants only needs to be careful here. He's trying to go for mate. Not sure he has it. You have at f7 check, but you move away to g7, exactly, and... Where is the mate? Yeah, because he wants to take on f1 with check and he's confident there is a mate. And there is, there is. You put add g3 check and you're going to find mate very soon with your two knights here. You can put one here and... Okay, variants only takes... Why not put a knight here? Very weird. Okay. I guess takes e3 is also winning. Yeah, now here he takes with check, put the queen, and now rook here is mate. Okay, so he escapes by the skin of his teeth. Not really an escape, he's winning. Was winning. Yeah, so now it's 4-4, four, four. the match is tied. Okay, Variant Sonly is losing something very important, more, th more so than the games. He's losing the momentum. He was up 3-1, he's the underdog, he was very happy. Now he's kind of uh, losing the momentum, so he needs to be careful. Okay, depending on who wins, we'll switch to the loser's perspective. Penguin going for this very interesting line, kind of putting these bishops like this. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, one of them is traded. And now white has a knight in hand. Where will he put the knight? Nothing yet, I think. I think just develop with e3. You could consider e4, perhaps for the added aggression. That e4 brings with it. e4 seems reasonable. Okay, he goes for a more staid approach with e3. <laughs> Using the word staid in Crazy House is very funny, okay. <laughs> it's 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 a thing. It's a dangerous thing, this crazy house game. Knight h4, trying to cup the bishop, but no no, no, no need to do that. No sense in doing that either. You need to start developing somehow. Can you play maybe bishop b5 check? 
just to see if he plays c6. c6 in crazy house is very weakening, especially with this bishop here. You can imagine a pawn coming here. Okay, he chooses bishop d3. Um, now, if the bishop weren't here, perhaps after takes and takes, you could consider like something on g7, but that's not the case. Okay, uh, Varinsoni is doing the same thing I was talking about, so bishop b5 check. But yeah, penguin blocks with the knight, wisely so, I believe. Yeah, thing is, after bishop b5 check, knight c6, you had perhaps knight at e5 or something. Or like knight at here, but no, knight at a5, then bishop b4, before, before check. Okay, Valenzoni is thinking. Not so clear what uh, Penguin is doing. And by the way, if the match is tied at 5-5, five, five, they'll play an extra two games until someone wins by those two games. So someone needs to string together two games after they force that. In my Crazy House World Championship match in the loser's bracket, I played, uh, I was down 5-3 and then I won the next two, so it was 5-5, five, five, but then I, then I lost the next two, <laughs> so I didn't make the comeback I needed. It was a very fun match. I was playing someone much more experienced and stronger than me, so it was surprising for me to make it that much. Anyway, back to this. So he's rerouting his knight to f3. It's uh, These d4 positions in crazy house, I mean, you already have trouble playing positionally in orthodox chess. Imagine playing positionally in crazy house, it's so weird. Now this is bishop d6, okay, the bishop did its job here, now it returns to d6, where it supremely controls the square. He's trying to win a pawn outright, Mr. Penguin over here. I imagine, oh, he doesn't care, okay. I would take, probably... The rook isn't as w worth as much as the knight in uh, classical orthodox chess because uh, uh, the piece values given are usually 1 for the pawn, 4 for the queen, and 2 for the rook, 2 for the bishop, and 2 for the knight. So equal trade maybe. Yes, he does it. He takes on f5. And... Um, with the knight, I don't know why he likes the bishop. I mean, it makes sense of the dark squares, I imagine. It can always be met with add g6, but expanding a pawn to put it on g6 also. And you always have access to this knight after you take. Okay, he's thinking though. The problem, by the way, with taking here, takes and takes, is that... Sorry, takes, takes and takes is that there's knight at g4 check and this might be slightly worrying especially now if you do it now because there's a pawn supporting this knight here so that's the that's the issue okay so what's going on here penguin is spending lots of time again yeah this seems to be a theme in this match <laughs> Penguin spending gauges. I forgot it was 3 plus 2, by the way. I thought it was 3 plus 0. So it's taking more time than expected. Already they've been at it for an hour and 6 minutes. Yeah, they spent <laughs> an hour trying to fix the stream, but unfortunately I was informed that the internet... Ah, so he prefaces this. He doesn't start with knight g4 check, but rather inserts the queen. That's very wise, because in Crazy House, if you start here with knight g4 check, I retreat and you put the queen here. I have many blockers I can use, not on h2 of course, but on h3. But now if I go back and uh, like a check here, it's it's more dangerous. What is he going to play? He plays knight h3, knight at h3. Um, what's black to do? Ah nice, he uses the bishop because he wants to take here. Interesting. Can we not play? I would have thought so, but okay. Okay, why is he so quick in playing that? If we take, what happens? Knight at f3 check. Too dangerous. I don't really get it. Yeah, this is happening anyway. 
Ah, I think it stakes and queen takes h3 check. h2 is very well covered though. Maybe this? It doesn't lead anywhere. He tries it. Ah, because he gets a knight in hand. Okay, this is mating. Right? Well, he has to play knight at h4 now. Okay, he does it from here. Yeah, here is the mate. Right. Otherwise, this wouldn't be mate. Nice. Nice. Look uh, at g1 check. Very important. Amazing. VO. Wow. <laughs> I'm stunned by this. The way the knight takes h2, that was a very quick attack, huh? Okay, so we stick with Penguin's perspective because he lost that game. That was insane. Wow. <laughs> and Penguin choosing here this Finketo. Which I'm not really sure how to assess. I mean, theoretically speaking, of course, black is lost. I mean, black is probably lost in Crazy House itself. If we go by engine evaluations. Yeah, so if VO doesn't, if uh, Penguin doesn't win this one, VO wins the match. 6-4. Amazing. Wow. Okay, so he's gaining some space on the queen side. Now, this is very weakening, of course, all of these squares. But you do have a lot of pressure on e4. And it's not so easy to put pawns here or a knight here. So this setup has been proven. It's a very non-theoretical setup. It's been proven to hold its own. But look at VO go. <laughs> he's completely destroying Pangman. Yeah, he's done this, I think, while I was trying to fix the stream. He did something very similar to Pang. He just put a pawn on h6 and another one on g7. And Penguin really struggled. And now look at this. He's in this very powerful pin. VO can at any point, at any point he can decide just to take this guy. And this, uh, this kind of power, <laughs> this power of choice is very important in all kinds of chess games. <laughs> including this lovely variant we're seeing here. Crazy house. Yeah, and you need to be careful, like, if a knight drops here for white, the f7 will be collapsing. Yeah, not really an easy way. So that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to pick up a knight. Also, the knight is able to access, for example, a5, maybe e6. All kinds of juicy squares. So... Yeah, Penguin is thinking, and rightly so. If he doesn't, if he doesn't find any of this, game's pretty much lost. If he doesn't find any defense, I mean. Yeah, what's he to do? I mean, like, e6 doesn't work. You don't have... This is a problem with the bishop being here. If it were here, you can at least play e6. Okay, he's trying to win the pawn. Not for the sake of winning the pawn, of course. But just to get some chances to defend. And also have a knight in hand and start an attack. Like with the bishop here. Okay, but... But VO is not going down without a fight. Yeah, these, these ideas are looming. For the moment you have at a 5 though. You can put something on a 5 to block and protect. A pawn, a diagonal, or a bishop. But then maybe g4, which is crazy, but <laughs> might be working. Wow. Okay. Let us see what's vo. Okay, rook f4. So now you have to put something on f5. Otherwise, you just lose the knight. I guess, yeah, this is... Look at what we're going to see, guys. If he puts something on a 5, he's going to take everything on a 5 and then put a bishop here. Forking these three squares. We might see that. Yeah, look at that 4 check. Seems almost winning. This is why these Fienketo setups, I mean... You either need to be prepared to the bone here or... Yeah, I expect this. 
Wait, now that it's a bishop, it's a different story, right? Because you don't have bishop at check. Hmm. Yeah, you don't. So what is going to be played? Okay, he puts the rook here, wow. Arguing that he has the luxury of time. Taking here doesn't work, by the way. The queen can simply take. This is a monster pin. Like, this isn't even working because knight out of three check, we can simply take. This is, this is very brutal. Wow. Yeah, difficult to suggest a move even. Like crazy as it may seem, if I play d5, f3, f3 might occur. Hmm. Interesting. So can we find anything for black? Unfortunately, I don't think so. He tries d5. Will we see f3? Just takes. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's, he's going about it in a very caveman way, but... But it's correct. He takes everything and knight out of four and look at these light square weaknesses. That wasn't a light square <laughs> over there on night sure. Oh god, so weak. So weak. Maybe we try to put some rook here and try to defend laterally. And no looking tough. VO is suffering uh Penguin is suffering from Bishop's mania. Bishop takes this is not going to end well. Yeah, check, retreat, he goes here, doesn't want to even face that. Hmm. For the moment this knight is covering some bishop check here, or pawn or whatever, so he's doing okay. And this ends the game though. Wow, wow, whoa, insane. I tip my hat to you, VO. He overcame all odds and won against Penguin. Amazing. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable, guys. Simply astounding, huh? The underdog taking a match, not a game, a match. 6-4. Look at VO. I had, I had some... Uh, some bad feelings, I was looking at Penguin's rating before this uh, match started and Penguin hadn't played a single Crazy House game in ages. He had, uh, he wasn't active on the ranking, so while VO has been practicing, so yeah, yeah, the world belongs to practitioners. You can't sleep on the job, Penguin, but of course Penguin is studying mathematics, so he has his uh, his career in front of him.